Hey, good morning. Happy 17th of January. It's a Wednesday. Um, you know, a sad day for anyone, particularly people in the Washington uh, in Washington State and sports world and people that suffer from depression. Uh, Washington State quarterback uh, Tyler Helinski was found dead in his apartment, 21 years old, self-inflicted gunshot wound. Um, and it's... Uh, it's just, it's something that's somewhat close to me uh, for a number of reasons. I'm not going to go into it, the details. I myself never really battled with anything like that. Um, you know, I mean, I had stages of my life where I felt depressed and felt sad, but I just, where people get to the point where they make this decision, I've never been there before. And I, I can say that um, I will never get there. Uh, but then again, it's like, it's, it's just, everybody's different. You know, I just have, there's just my, I think too much about other things that some of these people might not think about. And, and, um, I think that's what, you know, keeps me positive and optimistic. And some people just, you know, it's, uh, and it's not a knock on anyone's personality or their, or their, um, you know, how they are mentally. It's just, uh, it's, just, it's, it's extremely sad because someone's one decision affects so many other people. And, you know, from somebody, from what I, what I read about Tyler, he was extremely happy. He was smiling all the time and he was the you know, life of the party, they said. And, um, a positive guy who was a hard worker, put in time in the, in the video room, going over, going over the, uh, you know, going over the game films and things like that. And, for, I believe that I saw him in the Apple Cup. I'm not sure because um, I know Luke Falk was – he had a horrible game that game, and I think that Halinski got in there a few plays. Uh, but I did get a chance to see him, I, I think, at the Apple Cup this year. Um, and I, I think I do remember him playing a few times this year, and he played lights out. I mean, he had – I think he had a game where he had over 500 yards, I want to say, um, where Falk had to miss a game, and he just came in there and just – tore it up through the air and and that's that's Washington State offense uh, the Cougars offense that's just shotgun formation just receivers running all over the place and just to pick a defense apart and you know that's what they're known for and that's what Mike Leach is known for but um, you know I was raised uh, my family no one in my family ever really went to college at least graduated from college uh, the only other person I had in my family was my uncle and one went to and eventually graduated from the University of Michigan. The other one went to Washington State and didn't quite finish. So I was kind of a Cougar fan and a, and a Wolverine fan growing up, and, you know, and uh, uh, eventually became a Husky fan. Uh, and then I got into the UW, so now I'm a lifer. Uh, but the whole thing with depression, it's, um, you know, it does connect personally with me on a number of levels, uh, levels of which I am not going into detail about. Uh, it's not personal. Uh, I myself have never been suicidal. I mean, I thought about it when I was younger, but I mean, I was 17 years old and I didn't know any better, you know, and there's just so much that happens later in life. And I just, now I just knew I was just a young kid that didn't have, you know, I just didn't really think very much about the future. And it was all, everything I knew was in like a few moments and you know, it crossed my mind, but it's, you know, it's, uh, I would never act on it. But then again, it's like, I'm not these other people and it's, and it's, um, and I don't shame people for doing it. It's unfortunate. Um, I think, I do think it is selfish in a way, you know, because a lot of us, there's some people out there who just deal with their problems and go through with it. Um, but then again, it's like, everybody's different, you know, I just can't really fault them for it. So they, uh, it's an unfortunate situation. It's, it's a sadness. My heart goes out to anyone who's a Cougar fan, goes to the University or Washington State University, and um, for anyone that does suffer with this or knows someone that suffers from depression and the suicidal self harm. Um, I, uh, you know, it's just a sad day overall. So I'm going to end it there. Uh, so if you know anybody that might be um, suicidal, could tell them that you love them, that they matter, and that 
um, give them the resources that they need in order to call somebody because sometimes talking to somebody can change their entire day and change their life perspective. You never know. Um, there's a situation, uh, the San Francisco, uh, state, I think it was a state patrol, um, ran across that kid, uh, about ready, he was about ready to kill himself on the Golden Gate Bridge and, uh, saved his life. And now that guy is an advocate for, you know, he speaks out at, at suicide conventions and, and just gets people to kind of contemplate the decision that they're making, this, the seriousness and, and how big of a decision it is and how many people it affects. And I forget his name, but he is a black gentleman and the cop was an older uh, white guy and um, saved his life. And they're like, they're really good friends now. And uh, But that's just one part of it. And it's just, I just, uh, you know, it's, like I said, it's something that, that, I have ties to, and, um, it's just, it's just extremely sad, and, um, my heart goes out to Washington State, um, all the Cougars, past and present and future, and if anyone is considering doing that, I, you know, or if you know someone that might be in that state, please tell them I love you, you matter, and, um, I mean, every day, just kind of do that, so, uh, I wish everyone a, a great day. Uh, please do what you can to smile at people, let them know that they matter, let them know that you care, and, um, hope, you know, maybe your actions today will help save a life, you never know, so take care, have a good day, I'll see you tomorrow morning.